What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and today we're going to be doing a living room vacuuming video with the Dyson DC65 Animal Complete. Now, just to be clear, this is not the Dyson DC65 that I got from the vacuum save video where the hose was, the clip was broken on the bottom hose. This is actually just my Dyson DC41 with the cyclone pack and power head from the 65 slapped onto it as well as the handle on the wand since those were in better condition anyways and oh yeah and the upholstery tool since this is the actual one that has both of the pickers on it so it's the proper tool which is nice so beyond that it is the dc41 i did wash the filter that actually was in this cyclone originally so it has a genuine dyson pre-filter in it and unlike my 41, this button actually works properly, which is really nice. And this cyclone is in better condition. So, and the power head works. I did service the power head, make sure that the brush is spinning and all that, which it was, and, but it needed cleaned. So I cleaned it up pretty good. I have used it once to clean this living room already. I used it last night, but I figured I would actually do a video this time. And I cleaned up living room a little bit and part of the office as well, so I can actually get through to the office now. Um, I still need to move these boxes out of the way and whatever's in these bags. I don't even know what's in these bags. Move this stuff out of the way and get these vacuums upstairs. But beyond that, it's a lot cleaner than it was. So, move, got to move this stuff down in the basement as well. Woohoo for spring cleaning in the middle of winter. So, yeah, let's go ahead and run the 65. AKA the 41.
I mean, pretty good results. Can I really complain? All this dirt is just from me vacuuming the living room, office, or I guess that secondary room, which will soon be a second living room, probably, and also the upstairs, which is like a very thin low pile carpet. So, honestly, not bad performance. I can tell that the power head's now completely caked with dirt again, but it's okay. Uh, so, yeah. The 65 seems to perform a lot better than the 41, the power head anyways. Obviously, everything else about the machine is identical. But power head seems to do a lot better than the 41. And it honestly holds its own among the newest power heads that the Kinetic and the Ball Animal 2 come with. Although I do think those still perform a little bit better, if for no other reason that there's no ingest bars and the bristles are a bit more... Uh, well, mainly just the ingest bars, because actually the bristles are closer on the 65 as well. In fact, we can look at that. We've got the nice purple brush roll. Very stiff bristles. I actually kind of like the pattern these bristles are in. These The 65 actually does do a really good job at deep cleaning. Better than any previous Dyson that came out before it. And I know that's controversial given the existence of the... I mean, the 17 and the 28 might do better than the 65. But I don't think they do better than the newest ball Dysons. The Total Clean, the Kinetic, and all that. I actually do think those clean better than the 17 and the 28. Just based off the results that I've seen. The the, the 65 even, and especially the... the um, actually, I think the 28 cleans better than the 17. And I think that the 28 probably holds its own among the 65 and the Kinetic and all that. The 17, I think, does a little bit worse based off of how much I've used each machine. One of these days, I'll start dailying the 17 to, to test it even more so. Maybe it'll get more stuff. I don't know. And maybe, maybe it will actually be as close. But the 17 actually is in the worst, is, is in the best position over all these other machines because the 17 is a brand new brush roll in it. Brand new brush roll. And yet, this seems to perform a little bit better, or at the very least, like, it's a spitting difference. Like, it's... They're well within the same ballpark, and since they are, I would pick this over the 17, because it's, it's much easier to maneuver. Although, the 17 is probably more reliable, given that it has much better build quality than this, and there's less, you know mechanical stuff to go wrong with it. I know the boards in these tend to break. The changeover valves break in these all the time. The lower hoses break in these all the time. Hence, that's what happened to my actual 65 that I took these parts from. So yeah, that's that. So, this is Intellitech Studios with the living room vacuuming of the Dyson DC65. So, I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. If I should do the 41 and the 65 in separate reviews or if I should just combine them into one because the only difference really is the cleaner head whereas with with the other newer ball Dysons there at least is kind of some power improvements but it's very minuscule so yeah you know what I'll probably just do both in one review especially since I only have one machine to, re to reflect both of them anyways but yeah so the review on this will be coming soon I still need to do the review on the kinetic and the tempo but I did just review a good number of other machines that you guys probably haven't seen the video on yet as of the time that I filmed this. I don't know if I'll upload this after I upload all those other videos, which there's like five of them. Or if I'm going to upload this first, we will see how that goes. So, But either way, more reviews coming soon, including this machine. So, this is Intel Tech Studio signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video, and hope you all have a good one. Peace.